BYU is very comfortable in the home of the Utah Jazz. The Cougars had won 14 straight at Vivint Arena. If they made it 15 straight tonight, they would earn an eight straight win over Utah State and add a huge win to their NCAA tournament resume. You know this is a great matchup when these guys show up. Donovan Mitchell and Royce O'Neal sitting courtside. Fans had a great time with that. BYU got off to a hot start. To be more specific, TJ Haas got off to a great start. He had back-to-back -back threes to give BYU a 9-2 lead. He also found open teammates for easy buckets. Doesn't get any easier than that for Yoli Childs. Utah State kept pace. Alfonso Anderson with a nice first half, a couple of threes. The Aggies led 28-26 briefly, but the hot shooting Cougars, 6 of 12 from three in the first half. Connor Harding with a couple. BYU led 35-28 at the half. And BYU's lead grows early in the second half. Yoli showing NBA scouts that he can shoot the three. And T.J. Haas continues to set him up with easy buckets. Yoli with 20 points, 10 rebounds to lead the Cougars. Down by as much as nine, the Aggies rally. Abel Porter beats the shot clock buzzer. He was three of four from three, 13 points. Namiash Keita trying to work his way back from injury. 23 minutes tonight, 11 points off the bench. That cut the BYU lead to four. Haas pushes it back to seven. He was four of 10 from three, 16 points. The Aggies overcome poor shooting to stay in the game. Great pass from Keita to Justin Bean. Aggies get within one with 30 seconds left when Arizona transfer Alex Barcelo buries the dagger from the corner. Ice cold. He was quiet all night, but clutch when it counts. BYU with a big win. Eight straight now against the Aggies. That Utah State is a great team. This Craig Smith, I've said it for the last week. I mean, I think he's amazing uh, with what he's done in, in his short tenure there. It's just incredible. And he's got guys that play hard and with a huge IQ and a ton of heart, and it's a great team. So it is difficult because they're hurting. I hurt for our team. And, and because it's just a, you get a little emotional, it's, a, it's an unbelievable group of young men to coach. And uh, they do everything we ask, and, and I'm just, um, you know, we, we like to have our, uh, one of our phrases is find a way to win, and, and you know, we didn't do that tonight.